Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over what is new in the 2 gigs GC2 1.19 firmware update. The main takeaway from this update is that it's going to start supporting the LTE communicators. Now the LTE communicators are very important because they're going to offer your panel a longer lifespan. What I mean by that is if your panel right now is using a 3G, 4G, CDMA, Verizon uh, communicator, um, 3G and 4G being AT&T, then those are soon going to be sunsetting. What I mean by that is those towers are soon going to be shutting down. And uh, if you're looking to keep that GC2 up and running, for those of you out there who have one with the older style communicator, you will need to update the firmware update and buy a new LTE communicator for your system. Now, the firmware update for the system can be done two ways. You can buy the updater cable, which connects directly from your computer to the actual system, and you download a little patch file that transfers directly onto there, and it upgrades the firmware. Or two, we have an easy updater tool. The updater tool is just this little device. It comes with the software already on it. You plug it into the board of the GC2, and then it starts upgrading the firmware update on the system. Now. For the communicators, for those of you who don't have a communicator in, G in your GC2 and are wondering what it is, the communicator is what allows the alarm system to communicate to alarm.com. Now, alarm.com is what you use to monitor the system and what you get with the interactive services. So, alarm.com is an app and a website with that once you're monitored with a company, they create an account for you so you can use the alarm.com site and app to control your system from anywhere in the world. Alarm.com requires cellular connectivity. So pretty much, if you want to use Alarm.com, you need to have a cellular communicator in your GC2 system. Now, Alarm.com recently notified us that they're going to be putting a stop to all 3G, 4G activations. The reason for that is because in the coming years, the 3G, 4G towers are going to be sunsetting. So if you guys have a 3G, 4G, communicator in your system, like I said earlier, you're going to need to get the LTE communicator. Now, the, the new firmware version that's out, the latest one is version 1.19.3, right? So there's two LTE communicators that are actually out right now. The Verizon one has been out for a couple of months and the AT&T one just came out recently. In order to use the Verizon one, your panel needs to be on firmware version 1.19.1. If you want to use the AT&T one, which is the brand newest one, it just came out, you're going to need to have the firmware version 1.19.3. Now, if you go to our page, we actually have the patch file on our site. And if you guys have the updater tool or if you guys have the, um, the cable, you guys can download that patch file directly onto it and then transfer it onto your GC2 system. So once you guys have upgraded the firmware on your GC2, you can then buy whatever LTE communicator you want, whether it's AT&T or Verizon. Now, a lot of people, when they're choosing between the two, they start thinking about, oh, well, I'm with AT&T or I'm with Verizon on my personal cell phone. Remember, this does not matter who your cellular provider is. Think about this as something completely separate. This is just for your alarm system and you want to choose the service that has the best cell reception wherever the system is located, whether it's in a business, house, wherever it is, make sure that you guys are choosing the cellular provider that has the best signal. Don't choose the cellular provider that you're using. Why? Because you're not the one that's paying for the cellular service. The monitoring company is the one that's paying for it. So you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to contact AT&T. You don't have to contact Verizon. The monitoring company is the one that takes care of the activation and the registration of the cellular communicator. So don't even worry about getting involved in those um and that just choose the one that has the best reception for your system now if you guys have any questions on how to update the firmware what updater tool to buy for your system um how to get it updated how to get it monitored feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com uh, if you guys found this video helpful make sure you hit like underneath subscribe to the youtube channel and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos you guys get notified I'm George from Alarm Good and I'll see you guys next time.